Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about the smart contracts, what they are and how we can use them. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video we did talk about NFT games and what they are, how they work, how they connect to blockchain, how they use addresses of contract, address of wallet of our clients, address of wallet of ourselves, so we can withdraw the money that we make with selling characters, okay? And now let's just get into it. First of all, just go to remix.ethereum.org and it, it give you an ID that is that is called Remix IDE, and with this we, we should create our contract. So there are some steps to create our contract. First step is to test our contract in in the Remix IDE. There is a lot of tutorials about uh, a smart contract, but I think they on purpose doing it in a complex way so you don't get it. So first of all, I think the best thing that you should use Remix IDE first to create your contract. And in Remix IDE, uh, you can create your contract, you can deploy it uh, on their environment. There is a debugger in this IDE as well. It's web-based IDE and it has everything for creating a smart contract and when you create it you can go to Visual Studio Code and test it out there and after that you can just create a testnet local testnet with a software that called Ganache and uh, when you test your code in the local testnet you can upload it to online testnet and I will show you all of them and after you done your testing after that you can deploy your contract to actual mainnet Ethereum mainnet or whatever net that you want to up, uh, deploy it or upload it so now let's just start using this IDE the language that the blockchain use in this remix ID is solidity okay and it's much like game maker language and JavaScript language I will show you a step by step what it is and how it works so let's just start when you open up this remix ethereum.org it will give you a workspace and in there there are some files and I will talk about all of them don't worry so first of all in contracts folder there are some contract in here yet that you can see it says storage.soul so because we are using solidity language it will call the the extension of our contract is .soul okay and in javascript you remember it was .js in here it's .soul okay don't worry about it it's easy you will understand it in no time because it's much like game maker language so it creates some contract for us well, for for just testing okay and don't worry about any of this code don't worry about it it doesn't matter for you it's just some script and some test functionality for you to test your contract on this IDE the most important thing in here is just this dot soul files okay so first of all let's just open up this storage dot soul okay the most important thing in here is first of all you should write this line for licensing okay if you don't put it in here it will give you a warning and an error so always at the start of your contract and your solidity file you should put this license at top i don't know why but you should put it okay for compiler to work next one you say pragma solidity and you type the version that you want this way that they are doing it it's saying use a version between dot seven and dot nine okay we could just say use version uh, like this we could just say use version this okay but it doesn't matter. The version is not important in here. Let's just use the latest version. And after that, what is important is each Solidity file should have a contract and it's called contract. And after that, a name. It's like a uh, creating a function in GameMaker, but uh, instead of saying function, you say contract. So this is our contract. A start is here and a stop is here. Next, you can, you should write some variables in here okay so whatever variable you put in here it will be saved on blockchain so for example this number it will be saved on blockchain and the type of this number is important okay but if you for example this one is a uint 256 it will take a lot of space in blockchain and for deploying this contract it will it will need us to give them more money that you can call it gas fee okay so whenever you want to create a variable you should know that the variable type is important so for example your level level of your character that you want to sell if your level of your character is a start from 1 to 100 you don't need to declare the variable as u int 256 because to, uh, u int 256 
256 can take a big number and our level of our character it's just from 1 to 100 so what we can do about that we can say u int 8 okay so for example u int 8 is for our level and this level can go from 0 to 250 five okay and because our, our car, uh, level of our character we know that it won't exceed this value if we should just declare it as u int a okay the next thing that i want to talk about is functions with declaring functions in our solidity file we can access our contract with its address and change these values okay so for example this is store function with that we can change the the value of this number variable or we could we could just create another function so for example let's just create another function i want to say change level okay and the new level we will, we know that it for input it should be u int 8 not u in 256 so let's just change that let's just copy from here to here the name of this variable this input variable i want to call it new level okay whatever you want next thing that you can see it says public what it means it means that everybody can access this function so that is not a good thing when we deploy or upload our contract to blockchain uh, everybody can access it and in future videos i will show you how you can change this so just us developers can change this level for example or just our game can change this uh, level okay but for now let's just leave it as po at public we will change it in future and there is a body for this function exactly like game maker and in here we want to change the level this level okay so we say level is equal the new level that we put in there okay so we just create a function for changing the level of our character okay next thing is this function that can return a our number so we can use it for our level as well first of all we say function the name of our function and you can see it is public so everybody can use it and next you can see it says view when you should use view when you want to just show something or return something you should declare it as view and if you want to return something in the body of our function we should say that it's returns something so whenever you want to return something you should put return in here and view as well okay so let's just create a function for our level let's just copy and paste this let's just do it for our level first of all i want to change the name to get level okay so get level it we want it to be public because we want to show something we uh, declare it as view and because we want to return something we declare it as return and the type that we want to return is u int 8 okay so ju just know this when you declare something as return you should uh, declare the type that you want to return so in this case we want to return the level and the type of level is u int 8 and we declare it in returns parentheses to be u int 8 and after that we can return our level that is a u int 8 so no we create a contract but it's just for one character and i will show you how you can create a contract for all of the characters okay just one contract for all of the characters right now it's just it just have one character okay i want to change the name of the contract to be character okay so no we write our simple contract let's just test it out first of all you should go here and in here always check this auto compile okay when you check this auto compile when you save our solidity file it automatically compile our solidity okay so in this compile tab in here you can see it give us an error and it says you can't put this uh comment in here so let's just delete that Control s save it and it, it will compile it successfully and you can see the tick in here okay the next option is this version that you want to compile this solidity file don't change this it always works the solid the language that you want to use because we write in solidity just select solidity the evm version don't worry about this i will talk about it next you should go to deploy and run trans transaction okay so we write our contract successfully now we have a contract that we can change our character level and uh, now we can deploy it on a test net okay there are some environment in here that we can use for testing our contract so for example this javascript vm virtual machine on london okay so let's just use that and with that it give us some account to test that okay so you can see these accounts it's a address of some valid okay so for example i want to use this uh, first account so this first account let's say this is us and all of these accounts is our clients okay so first of all let's just click on the first one because um, we said that this first account is us developer account 
developer wallet okay just click on that uh, don't change this gas limit the value we don't want to change that and after that we want to say which contract we want to deploy okay right now it says a storage because we didn't change the name of this storage in here so let's just change it by right click and rename and in here we can say this is our character contract okay and no, it changes name to character. No, if we go to deploy and run transaction in here, we can select our contract. Just be sure that your contract is opened like this and it's check for compiling. And no, we can deploy it. Okay. And when we deploy it, it deploy it on, on a testnet that is called JavaScript VM. And it will show us these values, these functions in here. Okay. So for example, the function change level, the function store that we have it in here, the function get level, the function retrieve that we have it in here as well. Okay. So, for example, we want to get the level, click on it, and it will give us zero because at default it is zero. So, let's just change the level to 10, for example, okay? Change the level, and you can see it successfully changed the level. And now, if we get the level, you can see it give us 10. So, we successfully uh, create a contract, upload it in a test blockchain, and after that, we call these functions, and we get the values that we want, okay? So, let's just again change the level to 100, and click on change level, and it will do it successfully in here. You can see it get the tick in here. And after that, if we get the level, it says 100. The level of this character is 100, okay? So this is the thing that we should create in our game maker, in our game. So all of these functions, we want to access this function to, from our game maker to change, for example, level of a character in the blockchain. So we can do it with this function. And in here, you can change it as well. But when we deploy it on our testnet, we will just access it in just game maker or in just our site. Okay. So now we learn how we can create a simple contract and how we can test it on local virtual machine blockchain and we test it and we change the level of character in the next video i will show you how you can uh, create uh, a contract that has multiple character in it and the client can buy any character that they want so let's just end this video and we start in the new video please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye